News fans, look who I have here in the house, the one and only Dada 5000 after the big fight down here in Miami. Dada, what a night of fights, my gosh. <clears throat> Listen, this right here is what we do, you know what I'm saying? We started out inside the backyard, and I told people a long time ago, BYB Extreme is the next phase of evolution for bare knuckle brawls all over the world. And tonight, again, we put the period on that sentence. We're going to talk about some of those fights, so many great fights. Let's start with the ladies, the title fight. Wow, listen, when you talk about Patty, you know, she came out, and it was action-packed from the start. And I seen how she was being a technician. And Chris Bird told me, he was like, Dada, when you see a person up close and they're constantly engaging, that's what we call running, you know, the hands. And I love the tenacity, the grit of her opponent because she did not give up. You had to really stop her, you know, and the ref just got in because at that time you seen enough. Desmond Green looking very good tonight as well. Yes, Desmond Green, you know, he fought, you know, um, Alexander, and it showed me a lot because it showed that Desmond has the fuel in his tank to go the distance, and I didn't see none of those guys really slowing down, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like, it put me in a position to say, hey, listen, if you have that pit bull in you, that dog in you, and the endurance, you're a problem inside this, this inside that division. Interesting fight as well, because it's the only one that really went the distance. Hey, listen, I often say, and I was this close, I was like, every fight will be a finish, nothing in the mighty Trigon ring is gonna go the distance. And that one, you know, I guess they'll give me a break because we went seven finishes, one decision, I'll take that. So, impressive debut by Seth Schaefer tonight. Listen, Speedy Martinez was the crowd favorite. Speedy Martinez, he was the crowd favorite. And, I mean, you know, it's called an upset for a reason, you know? And no one's seen it coming. You know, we've seen Speedy Martinez. We've seen him out in Wyoming. We've seen him here. He shows up and he shows out, you know? And we had something to go off of. We didn't have much to go off of Chef Schaefer's. But, you know, if a person didn't know his name, they know it now. I think we also need to take a look at some of the other fights on the card because you had so many great fights starting from the very beginning early on and such great engagement on YouTube as well. Well, this is it. You know, it's all about marketing and promotions, right? So an individual, they will know of or not know of a fight depending on your marketing. You know, and BYB Extreme is catching on like wildfire, and we're only going up from here. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen, on the Susan Sanglary Show, we're only going up from here. Well, we always knew that, Tata. Yes. Because we go back to the back to the backyard, so to speak. <clears throat> there you go. And I'm gonna tell you something. Um, you talk about news. News travels faster than mail. We're for real. We're raw. We're authentic. And you can't mention bare knuckle fight nowhere on the planet if down to 5,000 of BYB Extreme is not in your opening sentence. So, so many great fighters. You had two fighters come across the pond, as they say. Let's take a look at Barry's fight first and talk about that. I mean, left me speechless because Louis Mello is a keen, uh, he's a game guy. Listen, um, the champ, Jomi Escobosa, he took he took the decision, seven rounds, and Lewis Mello chased him around the ring, and Jomi was sticking him. So we went off of that, and we said, hey, listen, we don't see this guy finishing, you know, um, Lewis. And I asked him yesterday, I said, how many people you think are gonna watch this? He was like, everybody. I said, well, what if, the, what if you lose? He was like, I can't lose. And then he leaned to me and he said, I can't go back home if I lose. And he was dead serious. And I'm like, whoa, you know? And they came over here, even though both did not fight. That statement that he made, mm -hmm. it, 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 it actually validated the absence of his opponent, I mean, of his uh, partner, you know? What about the rest of the fights on the card? There were so many great fights. Well, this is it. These individuals, they understand the importance because the card, the division is starting to get stacked. So you gotta show up and you gotta show out because it's not just a loss. Depending on how you lose, you may not be back for 
a long time, you know? So when you have an opportunity, BYB Extreme, you know what I'm saying? We are, you know, the premier, right? And we're on the rise. And just like in the backyard, you know, we don't have no politics, no additives, no preservatives. If you got what it takes, and if you can me medically, you know what I'm saying, pass the physicals and all the requirements, we are willing to give you a chance. You know, looking at Barry, you had another fighter from across the pond as well. We should really talk about the great exchange now between you and the promotion over in England, because that's going to really, can I swear on the air? That's going to really kick, you know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah well, 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 listen, they came a long way, and they made their people proud. You know, um, when I say Louis Mello, Louis Mello was a gang dude, so I was not disappointed when his name, you know what I'm saying, was put on the ticket you know, with uh, Barry Jones, you know, and um, he got, you know, it just wasn't his night. So, yeah, we're gonna hear it. They're gonna, they're gonna scream it to the top of their lungs. They got one up on us, you know. But uh, after March, I believe, no, January, we have a chance to settle the score. Which of your fighters will be now fighting across the pond? Well, we have a few that we're, you know, looking, looking at. You know, and uh, it hasn't been finalized, finalized as of yet, but it will be by the end of next week, before the hot, well, before the new year, because, you know, they're already training. And it's about, at this moment, a couple of names have come up, but it's about, you know, who can represent the organization the best. How did that whole deal come about? I mean, it's so exciting to see the fact that you're going to be able to sort of exchange fighters, so to speak. Well, this is it, you know, we said we're the best in the world and they contested that. And there's, only, and there's only one way, you know, to prove it, you know, and that's you send a couple guys and we send a couple guys. And every time you turn around, we're sending more guys, you guys are sending more guys until all of your guys come over, you know? And um, we really wanted to get that BKB built because, you know, Barry Jones had that built on the line. And if he would've lost tonight, then, you know, Louis Mello would've took his title. You had another ladies' fight schedule. There's been some controversy over that, weigh-ins, people back and forth in social media. What was the reason why the fight got canceled? Well, you had uh, Christine Knuckles Stanley. She was scheduled to fight Miranda, you know, and uh, the fight was, was put at 150. Christine normally, you know, fights at 135. So she put on 15 pounds you know, and she showed up and the opponent still was like eight pounds, you know, over, you know, and Christine was like, okay, well, she was willing to bargain, you know, but it's like, hey, listen, this, 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 this chick, she's gonna come in tomorrow night, you know, close to 170, and I know who she is and she, she knows how to punch. You know, so it's like she didn't want to just take those chances, you know, because if you never miss weight before and you come on and you miss weight, then, you know, someone would raise an eyebrow, you know, to it. You got to keep one thing in mind, ladies and gentlemen out there, that more than 20 opponents said no when it comes down, you know, to knuckle stand, and for good reasons. They call her a sleepy old lady, but no one could punch her clock out. What's next for you in relation to, do you plan on sending fighters over every month to London, or how is that gonna work? Well, this is it. We're gonna definitely send a couple over in January, and then we're gonna focus on our show in Tampa, you know, on the 12 BYB 9, you know. Then we have, you know, we're gonna take the show on the road. You know, we're talking like Atlanta, you know, uh, Mississippi, of course, you know, uh, Vegas, everywhere, you know and give some of these other, you know, individuals an opportunity, you know, for us to bring the greatest show, the greatest bare knuckle show on earth to your city, to your town. Speaking of bringing the greatest bare knuckle to your show, or your city, or your town, as the sport grows, I often get asked the question, what do you need to bring to the table to fight in BYB Extreme? Well, this is it. You need to be healthy, right? You need to have, you know what I'm saying, two good eyes, right? You need to have a good heart, you know? You need to be able to educatedly defend yourself, you know? And uh, you need to just be able, you know, to get out there with, 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 with all your faculties in place, you know, to be able to put on a good show. Because I tell you something, when I was inside of the backyard, 
This is what made it so gutter. We didn't do no medicals. We didn't do no none of that, you know? And I'll say this to all of the individuals that's out there now, you know, that if I had to do it all over again, I probably wouldn't change a thing because the time was different back then versus now. Now, somebody get hit in the backyard, no, no, no sanctioning body, you know what I'm saying? No insurance, no none of that. Somebody gets hit and they die, two people is going to jail. The promoter who put on the event and the person who hit the guy. So when they say, hey, da, da, you did it, the time frames that I did it was different. Times are changed right now. So what's next for the organization besides the fight in Tampa? When are we going to see you back in fighting? I mean, to be, to be honest with you guys, you know, I was supposed to be on this ticket tonight, you know, and uh, various things didn't transpire out of a timely fashion. So I look to make, you know, my, I can't say return because I never left, you know? I was just focusing on building a strong foundation for other athletes with BYB Extreme. So, I mean, hey, Tampa, you know, Dada 5000, Category 5. A lot of people ain't here Category 5 in a minute, but it was originally Dada 5000, Category 5, you know? So oh, yeah? Definitely. So when is that happening? That's on the 12th of March. It's on the 12th of March at the fairgrounds. You know, so it's gonna be big. Of all the fights tonight, who impressed you the most? I mean, all of them, you know, were finishes except for one, you know, but I could say, you know, um, the heavyweight fight, you know, that 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 was brutal, quick, you know. Um, again, the Speedy Martinez, you know, that was an upset. So I think all of them, you know what I'm saying, were great, you know, and I'm proud of every one of those guys. Windows a draw that step inside the mighty Trigon. It's the most fierce, the most dominant fighting form on the planet. And for those that are out there, you have the square, you have the circle, you have the rectangle, you have the triangle, right? Then you have the heptagon, the nanagon, the, the pentagon. So I took the triangle and took it from one class and put it here. So we took it from triangle and we made the trigon. So I just took it from point A to point B, and it made sense, just like it made sense to the world who witnessed it in action and seen the mechanics of greatness. Creative minds never take a day off. I've been wearing this for a long time. These are upside down triangles, hiding in plain sight, if you will, because if they was right side up, it would have been an easy figure. And what we seen tonight, you know what I'm saying, it always been in here for a long time. Before we go tonight, Dada, is there anything else you'd like to add? Listen, you're now rocking with the best. Susan Sinclair <laughs> and Dada 5000. And um, fight fans, you know, we're for real. We're coming. We're not stopping. You know, we're the best on the planet. When we say we're the greatest show on earth, we're not talking about Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. We're talking about BYB Extreme. And when it come to bare knuckle, we make the weekends. Follow us on all social media platforms. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is what we do. How could you not love it? You got to. We all love it, and we all love you as well. Hey, thank Tata 5000, thank you so much for taking the time to interview with me. And by the way, I'm Susan Shingari. You ready? Yes. For Bare Knuckle News, and remember, no one beats us to the punch. Ah.